Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a complete backup of the micro SD card of devices such as TV boxes, game sticks, or handheld consoles. This procedure I'm going to show you is suitable for any version of this console, and of course, through this backup, you can clone the SD card and leave a copy saved on the PC in case you need to recover the system from this console using other micro SD cards. That way, if the micro SD card in your console has any problems, you can easily restore the system to another, better quality SD card with the same storage capacity. To do this without any problems, I recommend a quality micro SD card reader, such as a USB reader. I'll tell you in the comments of this video which one I use. The backup on the PC will be done using the Image USB program. To download this program, it's very simple. Just click here where the name latest version is. The name download will appear. Just click on it and right below it will appear downloading. You can see that it's in zip format. Just extract it. After extracting the file, all these files will appear and the main one we're going to use is the one here called Image USB. This program opens without any installation. Just double click on it and the program's interface will appear here. Here in this program, at the top, as you can see, the USB drives will appear, such as USB sticks and micro SD cards that you connect with some kind of USB adapter. If no partition appears on your micro SD card, you can click on the refresh drives option here. Then just click yes and it will update the list here. And before carrying out any procedure, we must select the desired drive. In my case here, I put in a 64 GB micro SD card with the Emulex system and some games. Just to test it out here to see if the full system backup procedure that comes with Super Console X will work. Remember that when you plug the Super Console X micro SD card into the system, you'll see some windows asking you to format it, and also some error windows. You can close all these windows and go to this program here so we can do the procedures. Remember that we have to select here as I said before. First, I'll show you the procedure for creating the image and copying it to the PC. In other words, it's a kind of cloning of the Super Console X micro SD card being copied to the PC. We'll do this by clicking on the second option Create Image from USB Drive. In this option, we'll basically be backing up the micro SD card to the PC. In this third option here in the program, where there's this text box and where it's called Browse, you'll click here to select the folder you want to create the file in. For example, I'm going to put it in this folder here with the name Super Console X. Just click on Open. Then enter the name of the file. I, for example, will put a name that indicates which image it refers to. Then just click on Save. And you can see that the name and directory I chose to save the backup of this console's SD card have already appeared here. And finally, for it to create the backup on the PC, just click on the name Create. When this message appears, just click yes. And in this other message, just click yes. And you can see that here it has started the process of creating the backup of the Super Console X micro SD card. I'm going to advance this procedure here in the video, because normally this kind of procedure takes a few minutes or even a few hours. As you can see, the program is just finishing the task. And it really can take a considerable amount of time to be able to do this procedure that you're seeing of creating the image on the PC. And when it's finished backing up, this very large image appears here, saying that it has completed the task. Just click OK. And you can see that in the folder I chose, two files appeared here that were generated by the program. This one is just a log file and you can ignore it. The main file is this one with the bin extension. You can see that it's a very large file, over 60 gigabytes. Now here in the program, we're going to do the reverse process. That is the procedure of copying the image with the game system to the new micro SD card. To do this, click on the first option, Write Image to USB Drive. I recommend that you do this procedure on a new micro SD card. With the same capacity as the micro SD card that came with your console. This way, you can perform a secure test on the different micro SD card and then test it on the console to see if the image is really okay, and working on other micro SD cards. An important note is that this procedure is also used to install on these devices. 
ready-made images available on the internet. For example, other Emulek images. With games that you have downloaded from the internet to install on these consoles and TV boxes. Remember that you must insert the correct DTB file if you are installing on a different device. To do this, I inserted a new formatted micro SD card. Just click here to select it. Put it here in the first option as I showed you. Select the file. And now, to copy the system we backed up to the PC. On the new micro SD card, just click right and click yes. And from that moment on, it's copying all the files with the system and games onto the new micro SD card. Unfortunately, this procedure is also a bit lengthy, so it can take several minutes. And I'm going to fast forward the procedure here so that the video doesn't get too long. Once you've finished, you can remove the micro SD card from the PC and put it in your console so you can test and see if the Emulex system with games will actually work properly on your console. If the recording on the new micro SD card doesn't work, I recommend that you check the backup generated on the PC. It's a good idea to do this when your console arrives from the factory and after you've turned it on and checked that everything is working, you can create this backup and keep it. We all know how difficult it is to find a backup on the internet for many of these devices especially the more generic ones, so now you can leave your copy in a safe place and use it when necessary. So that's it folks, I'm finishing up here and I hope it was useful. Thanks for watching, consider subscribing and see you in the next video, bye. So there he is, huh? Hey. <laughs> got you a nice little place to stay, Tony. It's got you written all over it. We'll head there first. Yeah, you're all hard. Jesus, Tony, you... Watch the goddamn car!